Hey YouTube, uh, this video is just going to show uh, my preparations for feeding my red tail boa and my next video will be about the care of a rather quite large uh, 5 to 6 to 8 foot red tail boa. Okay, let's, let's get started. Okay, um, first thing is uh, I have all of them. I keep a pretty well good stack of them. I use, uh, you know, just a, you know, normal, you know, one large size rat. And basically, what I do is I get, uh, I use a, I guess you could call it a tea pitcher or a Kool Aid pitcher or whatever, you know, a rubber made pitcher. And, uh, I'll take the top off, you know, it's pretty deep. I, uh, cut on some water. And you, you don't want it really hot, but you don't really want it cold either. You just kind of want it, um, kind of room temperature. Um, let it run for a few minutes when the water starts. Sorry about my dishes, it's kind of that dirty. I haven't washed it. And then just basically filled up. Uh, the rat itself is full of, full of air in the packet. So it's more or less likely going to kind of float to the top. See, there it goes. Um, so uh, then filled up probably a little bit more than halfway. Um, and take your top and then just you know, kind of smush it down, I guess you could say, and then wait until, uh, wait until it, it kind of thaws out, and then you get warmer and warmer, and then, um, once, once that thaws out and gets warm, I'll continue with this video and show you the rest of my process. Okay. Uh, this is going to continue the feeding video, but this is the care portion of um, my red tail boa. Uh, a few things that people don't know, uh, a lot of people think that all snakes need hides. That's not entirely true. My snake does not have one because she will not use it. Um, I've, I've had it many different kinds, from ranging from, um, you know, from wood, all the way up to you know something as similar as this you know just it's pretty big and she can hide in it but she doesn't necessarily use it she tends to get behind it pushed out of the way etc etc uh she's currently in a kind of in a in a shed kind of process right now so i have a larger water dish in there for her right now as uh as you can see right there um it's actually a bottom to a cage or a bottom to a an old tank that i had um old you know old wired cage that uh she doesn't really get in during the day because she's uh it, it's it winter here so uh you know well it's winter everywhere but uh it's it's really cold and uh she's uh hibernating right now uh the tree here is uh, her favorite thing to do and she tends to quarrel around it all the time. I can't really stop her from doing it. Uh, she likes it, you know, but uh, I'm going to get her out for y'all to show you what, her, what she looks like. Um, uh, I have a uh, slide top locking cage and trust me they are strong enough to get out. So, let me see if I can't coax, coast her out of here. Here you go, baby girl. Come on. I know. Well, she doesn't want to come out. Uh, go figure. But, uh, that's her. She's, uh, very pretty. She's, she's about five, five two, five three, something like that. Um, as you can see that tongue flick it, it's constant um a lot of people use like uh 
tank thermometers, you know, as you can see the little tape where I had it, she decided she didn't want it there, so she uh, completely took it down. I use, uh, you know, just a basic water thermometer that you can use for, like, a fish tank or whatever. Uh, this, um, you can get that at, like, Petco or you know any any pet store <coughs> um sorry about that I'm not feeling too well uh I have uh pine cedar shavings at the bottom uh with uh newspaper under it um that way um any any waste that she produces if it does go down it doesn't get directly on the glass and stick to the glass or whatever but uh and on top of that, the cord that you see is a heating mat, which, um, you know, heating pad, heating mat, whatever you call it. And it goes probably to about here, and it covers to maybe two and a half feet of the cage. It's a 20-gallon slide top locking cage. I have a full, um, you know, I have a heat lamp, which I use a white bulb, not a red. She doesn't like the red bulb too much. But, uh, yeah, as soon as, as soon as the rat thaws out, I will continue this video, and, uh, we'll, we can watch her feed. Uh, thank you, guys. Okay, um, now, it's probably been about... I don't know, probably about an hour, um, 30 minutes ago, um, I basically poured out the water, put a little warmer, 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 progressively, uh, never use hot water, um, because instead of thawing out the rat, you actually tend to want to cook it, <coughs> and uh, you don't want that. Uh, a good way of knowing, um, if, it, if it's been thawed out, um, I don't know if a lot of people do this, but I do. Uh, a lot of people use tongs. I use my hands just because it's easier and I wash my hands, etc., etc. And uh, just basically lift up the mouth and feel it. Uh, if it feels basically, you know, if you could do that to it, you know, it's basically thought out. So uh, I'm going to try to get this out so y'all can see. Um, don't know how well it's going to work. Oh. Okay, here we go. And there is the rat. Now, I will continue this when we get into the bedroom to feed it.